Ah, hello YouTube. I'm just on my way to pick uh, Will up and we're gonna go out, um, I think, it's not that like I'm trying to not give the precise location away. I, I'm not 100% sure on the nearest landmark to it. It's in East Sussex. It's not particularly too far from oh, Halsham. Um, we had a little tip off about a van graveyard. We've had a little bit of a tip off about a fan graveyard. So we're just gonna go and check it out. Um, believe you can walk straight in again off the road, so to speak, the pavement. Um, we think there's about 10 to 20 vans. Have a nice little explore, see why they, um, or try and make out why they've been abandoned, what the site is actually about. And we also believe there may be a couple of uh, abandoned derelict buildings to have a wander around. Anyway, come with us. We'll see you there. We're just on our way now. I said I was going to pick Will up. Will's uh, decided to drive, so we're now on route. We'll be there very shortly for you. It'll be instant. Right, YouTube. We're here. We're on location. As you can see, our first explore. I don't think anyone's been in this office for a long time. See any of that spiral staircase there? Look at this. We dubbed it apparently. I think it's more of a Leyland Daff myself. But... Must have been parked here for years. Ugh. Off of the, huh? uh, dipstick flat. The dipstick could be a very important. See, <laughs> it's got any oil in it. I don't think we need to look at anything else in there. It's got a weird smell here. Yeah, there's oil. Right. This definitely isn't abandoned in there. As you can hear it going like the clappers. Yeah, they obviously still use that. Obviously an old pumping station house or something. Doesn't look totally abandoned. But someone may still be uh, using it for something. All right. Yeah. Would you care to repeat your opinion on these vehicles again for YouTube? <laughs> I'll just start filming after you said that. Um, there's a couple of less desirable <laughs> LDVs, a few undesirable Volkswagen LTs. Still worth a lot of money to the VW idiot. To the, oh, to the VW sensible crew. And uh, a couple of transits, by all accounts. Oh. Not sure what van I'd rather have. <laughs> Spoilt for choice. Much as the iPhone's waterproof, what's putting it over that? What's in there? Not used anymore because there's. Well. A plant growing down there. Ah, oh, that's the. You know. That's put in there, Will, to help uh, fertilise. Sterilise, that's the word I'm looking for. Sterilise the water. Yeah. <clears throat>
we're actually, um, I couldn't quite remember where we were earlier, but we're quite close to Hellinly Mental Hospital. I mean, I mean hospital. <laughs> I'm not sure you're meant to call it mental asylum, as most affectionately known as. The asylum. Yeah. The hospital for um, the undesirable. So you would have thought these vans would have been in there. I've never heard of Madison. Well, I've, you know, Obviously not as a firm. Let's see if we can find Let's see if we can get in the compound. Hmm. Oh, this is the one we need for King Eats. Got his initials on it. Oh. I'm really surprised that that still exists here. I'm not sure I've seen it in anyone else's videos, perhaps, but come on, that's got to be worth a few quid, isn't it? How long it's been here? These would have been parked up, I presume. Well, no, there's no presumption about it. They've been parked up and abandoned, and all these birch trees, how tall they are. They've grown up and imprisoned them. Ye olde chainsaws, the only way to rescue these initially. It's a shame. Of course, you always get the village idiot ruins it for everyone and look what have been parked up like that a few of them have got uh holes in window screens they've parked this particular transit up badly when you're going to leave a vehicle for some time you shouldn't leave it with the handbrake on you should put a brick under the back wheel and leave the handbrake off and perhaps in gear because Beyond the rubbishy exterior, she's a solid vehicle, I'm sure. Yeah. Now they're trouble after they uh, get the oldy chainsaw out. I think those rear drums are going to be seized on. Whoops, <laughs> Daisy. Oh, we were just discussing. Uh, we see these on um, another video a little while ago, and the. Um, MOT checked the vans to see if there was any information on them. You know, last MOTs and stuff like that, just out of curiosity. And it's just occurred to us, because of the new data system, these vehicles probably been sat, there's no information on them on the MOT checker, these vehicles have probably been sat here longer than what they're actually probably on the road for. It's a shame really, what, how many miles has this one done? 90,000. 90,000 miles. Oh, this is particularly one of the older ones. It's an L Reg. But some of, there's a couple of uh, R Regs and stuff. Yeah. You know, and how long has it been on the data system now, MOTs? A few years, isn't it? A few years? A good few years. Look at them. Eight or nine. Not as many as I thought there was going to be here. But yeah, it's a shame. Someone obviously went bankrupt. Yeah, we just spotted. Tax 2000, R Reg. P was 97. Yeah, you think P was 97. These have only been two or three years old, or this would have been. Yeah. Criminal. That was worth a lot of money, and someone's just left it parked up. How many have we got? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine at least that I can count. Right. Continue scouting. See if there's any other goodies on this site. Just found some more of the site. Heap of old crap there. Probably about 10, 15 foot high perhaps. Look. How do people get away with abandoning businesses, being bankrupt, whatever, and leaving places in this mess? Surely they should still be held responsible. Look, 
that never decay. Some old hardcore shite mixed in the middle of it all. Someone should be accountable for this. It's not right. Perhaps a former entrance. Interesting looking item. That another old generator type thing. Must be. An old pump. Anyone wanting a PC or monitor? No, oh, hold on. Is it TV? Of course, that ain't anything to do with Madison. I think it's really bad that places can just be left like this. What do you think? Oh, really? You think that's a mound of like, old dug up roads? Surely we're going about looking after the environment. Well, that can't be good for it, leaving that there. <laughs> no. Well, it's not just old road either, is it? Look, old road cones and stuff, that doesn't break down. I don't know if you can pick up all the plastic and crap in that YouTube. Anyway, I think the site's as explored as it could, as best as it can be. I don't think there's anything else to necessarily see. You'll know before us, of course, because time is nothing for you. Our adventure is still happening. You'll even know if you've got 30 seconds left of this video or another few minutes. <laughs> Anyway, hope you're enjoying it so far. Well, 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 YouTube. We have just found a little bit more. Well, this we were looking in through this window earlier. I said the door looked like it wasn't shut. They look amazing. Now that they can just, there's a few quid's worth of interest laying around, I'm sure. Incredible. I'm surprised this still exists. It wouldn't take a lot for someone to bulk cut the main lock, reverse a van in with stolen number plates and have all the scrap away and get it weighed in in this site. It's, it's unreal. Look at the vices. Record vice, that's got to be worth £100 on its own, surely. Look at it. Number six. And another one there. Right. Well, YouTube, that's it from us on this video. Hope you've enjoyed it. We're a couple of minutes, you know, I might have an extra eyeball around because obviously panning round, looking at the phone, making sure that I can and see what I'm looking at. That's it really then for us today. We haven't forced our way in, we haven't broken anything, we've literally just walked in again off the road. And uh, the door, as you can see, isn't broke, anything like that. You know, that's not cricket. Stay safe, see you soon. Adios. Adiós. <laughs>